What if one of the biggest assumptions about electric vehicles was actually wrong? For years, we've been told that EVs don't need transmissions. Electric motors deliver instant torque from zero RPM, so why complicate things, right? That idea has become almost unquestioned in the EV world. And honestly, I believed it too, until I started digging into a recent partnership announcement that completely changed how I look at electric drivetrains. The partnership is with a company called InMotive, a name I hadn't heard before. At first glance, it didn't sound groundbreaking, but once I looked deeper, I realized this might be one of the most interesting pieces of EV technology I've seen in a long time. To understand why this matters, let's rewind for a moment. Traditional gasoline engines have a narrow torque band. They produce very little torque at low RPM, which is why they rely on multi-speed transmissions. You need gears to keep the engine operating in its optimal range. Electric motors, on the other hand, deliver maximum torque instantly. That's the reason most EVs today use a single-speed gear reduction. It's simple, reliable, and works well. But here's the part most people don't realize. Even though electric motors produce torque across a wide range of RPM, they still have a sweet spot, a range where they are most efficient. And they also have an upper RPM limit. Once you start pushing toward higher speeds, efficiency drops and performance is capped. That's where transmissions come back into the conversation. In fact, the idea isn't even new. The original Tesla Roadster was designed with a two-speed transmission. On paper, it made perfect sense. In reality, the torque from the electric motor was so extreme that it repeatedly destroyed the transmission. After countless attempts to fix it, Tesla abandoned the idea and went with a single-speed setup. It worked, but at the cost of top-end speed. That design decision shaped nearly every EV that followed. Today, most electric vehicles sacrifice high-speed efficiency and top speed in favor of simplicity and low-end performance. Only a handful of vehicles broke from that pattern using two-speed transmissions, most notably performance-oriented models that rely on clutch-based systems. But InMotive took a completely different approach. Their solution is called the in-gear two-speed transmission, and instead of clutches, it uses a highly innovative innovative chain and sprocket system that shifts gears while staying continuously engaged. Here's why that matters. According to InMotive, integrating in-gear into an electric drivetrain can extend driving range by up to 15%. Alternatively, it can reduce battery cost and weight by a similar amount. It can improve acceleration by up to 20% and increase top speed by as much as 20%. Those are not incremental gains, those are system-level improvements. What makes this even more impressive is how compact and lightweight the system is. Instead of adding complexity, in-gear replaces the second reduction gear and wraps directly around the differential. The transmission uses a chain that transfers power between sprockets whose effective size can change on demand. When a gear shift is requested, segmented components of the sprocket extend or retract. Crucially, these movements happen when the parts are not under load. That means minimal friction, minimal wear, and extremely fast shifts. During an upshift, the chain briefly engages both the low gear and high gear sprockets at the same time. In just milliseconds, motor RPM is reduced by about 50%, while a carefully controlled reverse torque impulse cancels out any jarring effects. From the driver's perspective, the shift is virtually undetectable. Power is never interrupted. The same principle applies during downshifts. The chain remains continuously engaged, torque is preserved from motor to wheels at all times. At highway speeds, a full shift can occur in less than one wheel revolution, roughly 30 milliseconds. That's astonishing. Watching how this system operates feels almost unreal. 
Every single chain segment is moving, extending, retracting, and aligning with extreme precision, all while spinning at hundreds or even thousands of RPM. It's the kind of mechanical complexity that seems impossible until you remember that internal combustion engines have pistons changing direction tens of thousands of times per minute, surviving for hundreds of thousands of miles. Mechanical engineering has a way of pulling off the impossible. Now, of course, innovation always comes with questions. InMotive isn't a massive corporation. They were founded in 2010, have around 37 employees, and raised roughly $80 million. As of now, they don't appear to have a mass-market commercial product on the road. They have partnered with established manufacturers. One notable collaboration involves Suzuki, which has been jointly developing a two-speed EV transmission with InMotive since 2023. However, there is currently no production vehicle on the market using InGear. That means real-world longevity and reliability are still unknown. According to the company, extensive accelerated wear testing has been conducted, and results look promising but laboratory testing and real-world conditions are two very different things. Despite that uncertainty, one detail stood out more than anything else. Cost. InMotive claims that InGear could cost original equipment manufacturers as little as $150. Let that sink in. For roughly $150, you could gain between 7 and 15% additional range. In practical terms, that could mean adding 60 miles of range to a 400-mile vehicle without increasing the battery size. You also gain better acceleration and higher top speed. Simulation data suggests around a 7% improvement in combined EPA range, with higher gains at steady highway speeds. Acceleration improvements appear more modest on paper, but even small gains matter when they come without drawbacks. So why partner now? My guess is that this collaboration benefits both sides. It's excellent visibility for InMotive, and it gives the vehicle manufacturer a real-world test platform. Instead of relying solely on simulations and lab testing, this technology can be evaluated in an actual production intent vehicle. The big question is timing. When the announcement mentions future vehicles, what does that really mean? Is this referring to the next iteration of the current platform or an entirely new generation further down the road? Is this something that could appear in an upcoming production intent vehicle or is it still firmly in the experimental phase? That distinction matters. If this technology can be integrated easily without causing delays, it could be an incredible upgrade. But if it risks pushing timelines back, then it may not be worth it, at least not yet. New, unproven technology should never jeopardize delivering a vehicle to customers. Still, from a technical standpoint, the concept is brilliant. There's no clutch, there's no interruption in power delivery, shifts occur under minimal load, torque is preserved from motor to wheels at all times, and despite how complex it looks, the system is designed to operate smoothly, quietly, and reliably. Concerns about noise are understandable. Chain mechanisms often raise eyebrows, but chain drives have been used in motorcycles for decades with excellent results. InMotive claims to use a specialized chain designed specifically for this application. At the end of the day, this feels like one of those rare moments where a long-standing assumption is being challenged in a meaningful way. The idea that EVs don't need transmissions may still hold true in many cases, but it's no longer the full story. If this technology proves reliable in the real world, it could quietly reshape how EVs are designed. And that's what makes it so exciting.